In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the two transmission drive belts on this Troy Built Pony 42 inch riding tractor. It's a very easy job that you can do by yourself and save a little bit of money. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Now I've gone ahead and removed the body from this lawnmower, not because you need to do that to get to the belts, but because it makes it much easier for me to film and get light where I need it. You'll have access through the sides right here. If you take the battery out and remove the battery straps, you'll have access through the top right here. You'll have access over here and then, of course, from underneath. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your clutch is pushed all the way in and the parking brake is set. This will relieve the pressure on the belts. Next thing you'll want to do is remove this tension spring right here. Now you can access this from the other side with a pair of vice grips and just clip them vice grips on there and pull. I'm going to do it from this side because it's easier. Just like that. Now the tension off our idler is relieved right here so this belt will come loose. Just like that. Now we'll still have to get this belt from around the transmission pulley but right here you don't have to take any of this apart with the belt missing. All you have to do is raise up the pulley and this other belt comes right out. Just like that. All right, so you'll want to reach through the battery compartment right here. And I'm using a quarter inch extension right here because it's pretty stiff metal. You've got these holes in here so you can lock this pulley up. I would stick it right down through here and wedge it between this bar, which of course they put right in the way for a direct line with a socket, all right? And then there's a, a little ear on the transmission down there that I'm lodged against right there. So you should be able to lock it up pretty good like that. And I'm gonna use a 15 16 wrench like that. And you should have access through the side right here to be able to push on the wrench. Just like that. Now we can take our pulley loose and get our belt out. We don't even have to pull the nut completely out. All right, so the front belt is loose. We just have to get it loose from around the engine. If you're finding any value in this video, please subscribe to this channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Okay, so if you're working on the ground, this part here won't matter much. But if you've got your mower jacked up in the air, I don't like to put the stress on the deck. So I do have mine jacked up. So I went ahead and put a piece of string here. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's actually pretty strong. And I went ahead and pulled the cotter pin out right here so that I can pull that rod out and get that right out of the way. Now you got access. So we need to get this belt guard off right here. And we have a half inch bolt up in here. And it just pulls out from the other side right over there. Now we need to get our pulley loose because we have these guards right here. This bolt is a 5 8 head right here and it does have some Loctite on it so it's pretty tough to get it all the way through there. If you don't have an impact you'll probably have to take the top of the engine off and then find a way to lock the flywheel up there without breaking any of the cooling fins or anything like that, but I do have an impact, so we're gonna go the easy route. Now let's just get our deck pulley out of the way, very easy with the guard gone, and drop this down right like so, and there we have it. Now there's no fancy routing or anything. This belt doesn't go through any pulleys. It just goes straight from here to the pulley on the back, so it comes straight out, just like that. Now I'm gonna post the part numbers in the description. Now that's to this particular mower. Uh, you need to make sure that your belts will fit your mower if you have a different model number than mine. All right, so if I wasn't abundantly clear before about why I needed this string right here, it's because I've got the front of the mower all jacked up and when I took that rod out, I didn't want the deck hanging off of its own weight. 
If you're working near the ground, then the deck would simply rest on the ground and there's no problem. So just wanted to clear that up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back together just the same way I showed you how to take it apart. No difference at all. And we'll see you when we test everything out. Everything works like a champ? Okay, hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.